Good morning, Girl Scouts. Miss Katie and Miss Nilla ready to start our day with you and read our next story together. Today we're reading Clover's story, which is a story about a visit to the busy, buzzy bees. And this is a story all about how to use your resources wisely, just like Clover. So here is our front cover. So I hope you guys got lots of good rest. You're ready to tackle the day and do great things together. Miss Nilla is eating a little good morning snack and we're both very excited to be with you today. So let's hop right in. Okay, so to earn your clover petal, you need to do these three things. You need to enjoy clover's story and then talk about it. You need to make a collage using old magazines or postcards, and then you need to practice being resourceful. Okay, clover's story, a visit to the busy, buzzy bees. The sun had just appeared in the sky when the flower friends woke up and got ready for another fun day. Chatting and laughing, they each helped wash Lupe's pedal-powered car. I love it when the car looks all shiny and clean in the sun, Zinni said. And Clover's idea to collect rainwater in pails means we don't waste water. He added, that was smart, Clover. Clover blushed. I'm happy any time I can think of ways to use things wisely, she said. Now let's go on our trip. I can't wait to give you a tour of my friend Henry's honeybee garden. Pictures. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Clover hopped into the driver's seat of the car. The pedal powered car ran on flower power. Every part of the flower helped the car go. A few minutes later, the flower friends arrived at the garden. Clover and her friends headed over to a patch of beehives. Swarms of black and yellow honeybees flew around them. The honeybees live in hives, Clover explained, but they love to fly around outside too. How do bees make honey? Zinni asked. First, bees gather nectar from plants and flowers, Clover told them. Then they store it in a honeycomb to make honey. One of the honeybees flew by. We love buzzing around flowers, she said. And we like turning flower nectar into something sweet to eat. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Then Clover's friend Henry flew over, carrying several jars. Hi, Clover, Henry said. I have a surprise for you. Since you always help me take such good care of the garden, here is some honey for you and your friends. Thanks, Henry, Clover said. What should we do with our honey? Zinni asked Clover. Clover thought for a moment. I know, she replied. Let's throw a tea party when we get back. What a good idea. Back at the garden, Clover called the other flower friends over. Hey everyone, Clover yelled out. We brought some honey back from the beekeeper's garden. We can use the honey in our tea and we can make honey dip using our leftover yogurt and apples. That's a great idea, Gloria said. It's smart to use our leftover food instead of throwing it away and the dip will be tasty too. Thanks for taking us to visit the, the beekeeper's garden, Clover, he said. I'm glad you had fun, Clover said. A few bees flew past their table. They were flying to the daisy flower garden. And thank you for making our honey, Clover called to them. The end. Okay, here's our pictures. Noah loves it. Okay, now let's talk about it. Okay, so how did Clover use resources wisely? So, there were a couple of in instances of using your resources wisely. In the very beginning, they used rainwater to wash their car, which was great because they were already using a natural resource and they could use something that was already ready, readily available to them. So that was definitely an example. Clo I believe it was Clover's idea. Clover had the idea of, um, let's see, throwing a tea party using the honey that her bee friends had made for her. And then she also had the idea of using their leftover yogurt, or I'm sorry, their leftover honey for yogurt and apples, which was also a great idea because then the food wouldn't go to waste. Okay, what do you think would have happened to the leftover yogurt and apples if Clover hadn't suggested making a dip? Well, again, I think if they hadn't have done that, if they hadn't have come up with that idea, I think the, um, the honey, and possibly even the yogurt and apples would have gone to waste. They would have had to throw it away. So that wouldn't have been very good. 
When have you been resourceful? Can you think of other ways to be resourceful? So I want you guys to think about that. You can think about it um, as an individual or as, as a group with your, with your troop. And think about ways that you've been resourceful in the past and ways that your troop has been resourceful in the past. And then try to come up with other ways that you can be resourceful in the future. Okay, step two is make a collage using old magazines or postcards. This is one of my favorite activities because um, you can do so much with it. Um, and everybody has old magazines or postcards or even newspapers laying around and you just make art out of, um, out of art that's already been created. And um, this says here, being resourceful means finding new ways to use old things, just like making a collage out of a newspaper or um, clippings of a magazine. So that would be really fun. Okay, step three is practice being resourceful. There are lots of ways to act like Clover. Try out by doing one of these activities. Offer to help your family make a recipe using leftovers so the food won't go to waste. That would be so fun and so tasty. Or visit a local garden or farmer's market. Ask about how the gardener or farmer uses resources wisely to grow plants. Find out what they do if they have too many vegetables to eat or sell. So this is one that we need to be careful about because it's kind of a tricky time and you can't go certain places. So I want you guys to talk to your troop leader or a trusted adult about what you should do. If they think it's safe for you guys to do that, I, I say go right ahead, but I want you guys to get permission um, and decide that as a team because we need to be safe right now for sure. And the last option is with your daisy friends, come up with three ways you can use resources wisely in your meeting place. Again, just talk to your troop leader or a trusted adult about um, getting together with certain friends. It's important that we stay safe and healthy during this time. But if possible, maybe you guys could even do this over um, a virtual meeting and you guys could talk about that um, virtually over the computer. So that would be fun. Okay, so that is our Good Morning Girl Scouts. That is Clover's story. And I hope you guys can take these, these tips on how to use resources wisely and implement them into your day and even your week. I will see you guys soon. Have a great day.